Welcome to Smokey's Woodworks. I'm Brian and today as you saw there in the little intro we're going to be doing three different pieces. I'm uh, actually going to do something just a little different. Really had not done anything kind of like this much before on here but as many of you may know my wife has a clothing store. Uh, she does screen print, embroidery, uh, it's also a boutique and she's really pretty creative so something she came up with that she was wanting with some stencils so she could place them on the center of a shirt and then pour bleach around them. It'll leave the image in the shirt and just kind of a different idea. So what she was wanting was something for Halloween so what we're going to do today is cut three stencils for Halloween. Here we go.
Okay, guys, that was it. So, I mean, it wasn't super exciting because, I mean, it was just cutting stuff out. And honestly, you could do things like this with a jigsaw or a scroll saw. And I'm just lazy. I've got scroll saw, I've got jigsaws, but I, I'm just kind of lazy. And this makes this more precise. I mean, it really made a nice little stencil. So all this is is quarter inch plywood. And if you'll notice on some of the uh, sanding, I wasn't as precise on some of the sanding as with like the pumpkin. Like on the cat, the scared cat, you can look down at the feet, it's still pretty fuzzy. I'm really kind of afraid of getting too rough with it. I'm afraid I'll snap those off. I mean, you saw the little pieces pop out right here in between the legs. And I, as soon as that happened, I started cringing because it can just go ahead and bust the legs off too. I just didn't anticipate those pieces coming out like that. I thought it was going to cut them a little better. So, And then Little Witch. I've done very little sanding of this. I'm going to do very little sanding. This is a little thin broomstick, little thin feet and legs. I feel like I'm going to break it just holding it. So, I mean, we may have to clean it up a little bit, but I'm not going to get real rough with it just because I really don't see how the, the whole process is going to be just super precise because honestly, you take the stencil, lay it on the shirt, you pour or spray bleach all over it, and it just infiltrates where the holes are and around the stencil and leaves it on the shirt. So I don't think it's going to be super precise anyway, but I may be wrong. I mean, I'm not in the shirt making business. My wife is. So I really had designs on doing something else today, but uh, got to thinking about it and realized that the next two things I'm doing are gifts. And one of them is within a couple of weeks, so I can go ahead and let that video go right after it. But uh, they're both local pieces, so who knows? Somebody may be watching. So, guys, here's what I'm going to shoot out to you. Uh, in the comments, shoot me some messages what you see, want to see me cutting and, or what do you want to see me doing. Because uh, I can sit and make these signs just day in, day out. I have a long list of orders for them, so I enjoy doing it. But, you know, I do get a lot of questions about the machinery, about airbrushing, uh, about woods, about speeds and feeds, parts. So, just, I, what I'm wanting for you all is just give me ideas of what you're really after to see. Because, I, like I said, I can, I can sit here and cut these things week in, week out. And if that's what you want to see, great, because then I'm getting work done too. So, guys, that's going to be about it for this one. If y'all haven't done so yet, please subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.